Right, you lot, in today's video, I am going to be answering Jim White's big question that he, that he put out on TalkSport the other day, which was regard to what do West Ham fans want? All right, mate, well, <laughs> I'll break it down for you and I'll tell you quite, quite simply. First and foremost, selling one of our better academy products other than Declan Rice for a fee that is derisory, you know, doesn't represent him as a player, doesn't represent market value either. Selling him and then potentially bringing in no key replacement, not spending effectively in the market on the left back or a centre back or in any position is the real problem here. Grady deserved his chance. He played for West Brom. He was fantastic there. He got eight goals, six assists, a real talented player, a real prospect for us. And the board have sold him on the eve of the Premier League season with no uh, replacement in mind, no deal that has been agreed as of yet. We've got a week to agree one. Um, he wasn't just a squad player. He wasn't. It wasn't just about money. He was part of the West Ham family. He was part of us next season progressing and moving forward. And for us to have lost a player like that in the manner that we have done, even where the player has actually shown a little bit of discontent towards even moving, it's harmful, um, it's disrespectful, um, and, and listen, it's just massively, massively disappointing. We want ambition. We want what we were promised. When we moved to the Olympic Stadium, we were promised a world-class team in a world-class stadium. We were promised that we would be competing for the Champions League and in particular for the Premier League in five years' time from the move. We are no further on than we were when we left Upton Park. In fact, we've gone backwards. We've been in constant relegation battles over the past few seasons, other than a reprieve uh, the previous season with Manuel Pellegrini. Even in that season, we had a huge outlay um, and we didn't progress as a club. You know, we are we are a static club. We are we have lots to offer. We have a massive fan base. We have a huge heritage. Our fans are some of the most loyal in the in all of the English leagues, um, and we've been lied to. We've we've been we've lost our soul in Upton Park. You know, we've even lost our crest. And now we're in a stadium that, that no one is particularly keen on. That isn't a football stadium. That doesn't push us to the next level. It's that lie about the revenue will push us through. Any normal football fan, any sane football fan that does their homework will know that the key, the amount of money comes from, it comes from the TV money. It doesn't come from gate revenue. And ultimately, you know, what we're seeing in this market is despite all of those promises of having increased revenue, being able to compete with the top clubs, we're still selling our best assets. And it's the one time that I, that I can remember we've had multiple sellable assets and we are selling rather than building. And that is why we've been lied to. That is why there's no ambition. That's why we won't move forward. So that's the second point. The third point is the honesty. It's the lack of integrity from the club, to be honest with the fans. The season ticket renewal debacle is just, is just one example in a number. Lied to about the stadium move. Lied to about the ambition that we're going to compete with the teams. Consistently seeing managers thrown under the bus when they're not supported. There is a lack of transparency with the supporters. It is going... You know, it's not going unnoticed. We see it regularly. Um, this is why Hammers United um, are beginning to gather support. This is why it's going to change. This is why the West Ham fans are now uh, are getting to the final straw. Um, and they will react and it will happen. Um, but, it, but it's not just because of Grady and Dean Garner. It's not just because of, you know, a lack of a signing. It, it's all of these things. And these are the final straws. These are the final things that really cement the legacy that the board are leaving at the club, which is stripping it of its soul, stripping it of its players, and preventing us from moving forward. And as a fan, to consistently be lied to about every aspect of the club that we follow and support and pay our money for, is, is disgusting. And no, no football fan, you know, not just West Ham fans, no football fan should have to go through what we've gone through over the past 10 years. So I suppose it would come down to the key aspect of what do you want, I want a club back. I want West Ham back. I want the club that I fell in love with, that we all fell in love with, that we supported. You know, we have never, you know, apart from obviously, despite having a rich heritage and we've we've won the FA Cup and obviously Bobby Moore and the World Cup and all those links, we've never been a, a consistently successful club. But we fall in love with a club that we're proud of, that we're proud of the players for fighting for the shirt. We're proud of who we are. We're proud of the family that we are. We're proud of our academy. And consistently now, over the past 10 years, we've lost our badge, we've lost our home, we've lost our, we've lost our academy, we're losing little bits, and those incrementally are being stripped away. 
That is why I'm a bit frustrated. It isn't about success necessarily. This goes much deeper than that. It's about losing a part of us. And it, and it's and it's getting to that point, Jim. It is getting to that point, mate. We have lost too, way too much. Um, and, and we really can't. We can't take any more. So if you want my honest answer, what do we want? We want our club back.